Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, so we made it to Nam. We out here. We about to go make some money moves. As soon as I walked up to the hotel, it started smelling like dank! It was dank, dank, danky! I don't know if we're gonna make money moves. I think we might be spending more money. Hi, Keith. We walked past the sign that said event parking. Event parking is 50 bucks. I'm so upset. They're trying to squeeze every dime out of you. But, um, let's go have some fun. Smash, smash that, that like, like button. button. Smash that Dude, comment button. Make sure smash you join the subscribe button. Join, join the smash notification that notification club. bell. <laughs> So I got to Nam, the convention, bro. They didn't print, they couldn't print my badge. So I had to go downstairs to customer service. There was like a huge line, like a couple hour wait. Security guard directed us to the front, told us just wait here. Customer service called out a few times, nobody else went up. So we were just like, you know what? Fuck the line. Disclaimer, we don't recommend you do that. Yeah, <laughs> so not not at I don't recommend. We're just we're just in a hurry. <laughs> ten out of ten would not recommend, especially at a convention like yep, this. Facts. So just be careful. <laughs> yep. All right. So we just got inside to the actual event. There's a guy here. I don't know who he is, but we have one lesson, I no guess, about how to sell products. That's going on right in front of us. We have a schedule, actually, though. overwhelmed trying to figure out where to go we came across a stand that sells instrument tuning yeah. devices apparently there's like a self-tuning tuner device that you just put on your guitar it like reads the vibrations and you can you can like set the tuning and then customize it like ridiculous. and apparently there's a metronome that you wear like and it sings between your entire band Crazy. It's so cool, and that was only the first stop and the first person we talked to. Also, I've seen five bands that look like ACDC. Also, I saw a band that was trying to be Kiss. Yeah, that was cringy. So we out here. I'm about to document me, me getting my first piece of swag from Orange. I'm not even entirely sure what Orange is, but I'm getting swag Thank from it. Thank you very much. I don't know what it is. But their designs are dope. I need to get with their designer. I need to get is with their Chanel. Huh? I think this is like Chanel, bro. Like this, this, like this fabric, it feels top of the line, bro. Honestly, top of the line. Right That's why they're giving it away for free.
a pretty damn good performance, not gonna lie. Sure. Those horns were killing him. They, they did, for sure. And the vocalist, he was pretty nice, not gonna lie. For a second, I thought I saw Edgar turning red about to steal the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna lie. It's been fantastic. 10 out of 10. I'm overwhelmed. I'm having a great time. But legit, all I've seen is guitar stuff. All I've seen is pedals and cases and, and tuners and, and cables. I don't care for that. And that's all I've seen. It's cool. Right now, I want to see the interfaces, bruh. Yeah. I want to see all that extra stuff that makes people with vocals and no instrumental talent yep. sound good. Yep. Edgar, specifically, is looking for a bottle of drinkable auto-tune. Yeah, like a natural auto-tune that I can just, like a pill or something I can swallow, you know, and I can just sing better. Yeah, just, just, so when just, I sing, just naturally reverberates those vocal cords. Yeah, that's what we're looking for here. All right, guys, we made it to the promised land. We finally found something that was not a guitar or a guitar-related piece of equipment. I'm so excited. So behind me, I'm actually kind of freaking out. If you see all of these different mics back here, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, these aren't cheap mics. Like, like, like just look at this. Like, man, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we out here getting food. We just came from a session learning about social media marketing. He raised some good points. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like all of it was like some secret that nobody knew because there were some things that, you know. It was general. Yeah, it was pretty general. But he did give you some really good places to start thinking, um, especially if you're developing a marketing strategy through social media. So, like, I'm gonna go home, take that with me, think on it a little bit. I might consider checking out his book, who knows. But um, now I'm hungry. It's like approximately 3.30. It's time for me to get some teriyaki. And then it's time for me to go sit somewhere and do some work. Look at it. I like your shirt, that's funny. All right, y'all, just finished my teriyaki. Not gonna lie, that orange chicken was pretty questionable. Pretty questionable at best, but you know it is what it is. But now we headed that, across like, the sky bridge. Uh, we about to hit a Pro Tools booth. Hopefully we'll get a chance to hit that Logic booth. Um, hopefully we can find a whole bunch of other booths for you recording artists out there. We had enough time for the instrumentalist. Now it's time for the recording artist. So, I mean. All right, so we found the true promised land. I don't play guitar. He don't play guitar. We don't play trumpet, no saxophone, or anything. No more guitars. We're done. We're here with all of the system. This is this is the mixers. This is the synthesizers. These are the soundboards. The in-ears, yo. We out here. We out here. 